This is CBC Saturday News. Thanks for joining us. People living in a downtown Toronto condo building are once again without power. The frustrating problem seems to be intensifying at this particular complex. It's the second time in as many months. Our Ali Shiesson is live outside at Young and Eglinton. Ali, you've just gotten an update about when the power might be back on. Yes, we just heard that the generator has been fixed, so they can expect that the power will be back on on Monday. Now, the residents that we spoke to today said it's one thing if it happened once, but to be without running water and power for this long, well, they're ready to move. I've been hanging out at Tim Hortons so that I can charge the battery back up for my phone so that I won't run out of electricity and also I use that as my flashlight. Mary Penner isn't just inconvenienced. When the electricity goes out in her building, it's a medical emergency. She relies on her sleep apnea machine to keep breathing. The first thing I do is I go, why is my machine not working? And I look at my clock radio and I see that there's no time. And then I realized that we have no power again. And I'm wondering, is it another water main break? It has happened twice in the last five weeks at the Quantum Towers. Just after 3.30 in the morning, the buildings went dark, blamed on a flood in the electrical room. Just four days ago, the area's city councillor met with the building stakeholders, Toronto Hydro and Toronto Water, to get to the bottom of why this has happened several times in the last couple of years. It just seems like there's some vulnerability with how this hydro vault was designed or its location that sees it continuously flooded. They can say all they want that it could be Minto's construction of the electrical tower, but the pipe has to burst first. The pipes near Young and Eglinton are old, anywhere between 50 and 100 years old. Penner says she and her neighbours wonder if the pipes can stand the Eglinton LRT construction. I hope the infrastructure gets improved or I hope it can manage all this growth because everywhere you turn around there's another proposal for another 50 floor building. I don't think this is going to be the last one that's going to happen. I think there's going to be more. So we just heard from Metrolink a couple of minutes ago and they said that they're cooperating with all of the work being done, looking into the cause of these outages. Uh, but they said even though they are just about a block away uh, from their those condos, they said that it's still far enough away that their water pipes, the water pipes actually here on Eglinton, um, aren't the ones for that building. So they highly doubt uh, that they are the cause uh, because of the construction, but they said that they will cooperate with any of the uh, further looking into this so I would assume that there will be a lot more of those meetings happening. Thanks Allie. Well, that's our show for this Saturday. All of our coverage is always online for you too on our website. We're back tomorrow at 11. We hope you have a great night.